Hello. So, um, kind of a mess. Um, <laughs> you know me, scatterbrained. Uh, well, you might know me. Does anyone who doesn't know me watch these things? It'd be weird if they did. If so, hide anybody I don't know. Anyway, um, sorry, my hair is freaking out. Um, so I figured I would read something I actually wrote a while ago, like months and months and months ago. Um, yeah, it's, it's untitled. Um, so I'll just start. There are whispers silenced by the green around your pupils, the hard-won battle scars your resilient skin hasn't quite fixed yet. I know there are secrets in your sonnets, all of those you keep quiet because your lips can only shape kisses. I know them all, but I pretend I only see smooth white wholeness. There are cracks in everything. Spaces between particles, spaces within atoms, spaces among space. You are the wonder keeping the stars apart. You are the fear keeping me together. You are the three words we're both afraid to say. Um, so that was the poem. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention is a quote from actually my very favorite poem, um, an E.E. E. Cummings poem. And actually I could probably, um, you know, read it for you guys right now. Hold on just a second. Be patient. Promise it'll only take a couple seconds. And it's an amazing poem. Okay, it's called, I carry your heart with me, I carry it in my heart. I carry your heart with me, I carry it in my heart. I am never without it. Anywhere I go, you go, my dear. And whatever is done by me, by only me, is your doing, my darling. I fear no fate, for you are my fate, my sweet. I want no world, for beautiful you are my world, my true. And it's you are whatever a moon has always meant, and whatever a sun will always sing is you. Here's the deepest secret nobody knows. Here's the root of the root and the bud of the bud and the sky of the sky of a tree called life which grows higher than soul can hope or mind can hide. And this is the wonder that's keeping the stars apart. I carry your heart. I carry it in my heart. E. e. Cummings is like <laughs> incredible. He's my favorite poet. I'm sure I'll probably have tattoos of his words all over me someday. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. If I can never afford a tattoo. Anyway, so I'm going to post this. Um, as always, uh, leave a comment if you'd like. All right.